Hi guys, so today we're going to see how to create an illustration using uh, Lumion and Photoshop. So there's a realistic image so which has been rendered in Lumion. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to do it in Lumion. We're not going to go into the details. I'm just going to show you how I have done this particular image uh, using few options in Lumion. And, and then I'm going to show it to you how we can render this in Photoshop very easily. So let's get started. So here you can see this is the original image that we had. And uh, this image is the rendered form which has come from Lumion. And this image is after post-processing in Photoshop. So if you want to post-process any photo which you have rendered using either SketchUp Vire or Rhino, or Lumion, you can Photoshop it in these methods, which I'm going to tell you today, very easily. So let's get started. So this is Lumion, and there's a particular project which I have already pre-installed into the system. And I'm using Lumion 8 version, and you can use any version which you have or any other software. So you can see that there are various options or various effects which I have added. So you can use the add effect icon right here and you can add these various effects. So this depends and varies from image to image. You cannot say uh, that this particular image which I have done using these effects will be good for the same image which you are having. So you will have to do this by your own using trial and error method. And you can add any effects. You can see how it works. You can play around with the effects a little bit. For example, here we have the sky and the clouds option. So I have played around with the position, the master cloud amount, high clouds, cloud direction. So there are various options. So you've got to explore this on your own. So I've just disabled the effects uh, to show you how the image looks before I have uh, installed all these effects in. So here you can see I'm just going to click one by one and you're going to see the difference. Uh, so you can see that now it looks a lot, but then when all the effects are added together, it works out pretty well. So I think we're going to disable the God's rays. Affect the rain. Yeah, and I think exposure. So here you can see that I'm just doing this by trial and error. Yeah, I think this is pretty much what we're looking for. So I like to explore a lot with the analog color lab. So if you click on it, you get various styles in this. So I like to explore this after I have. Uh, after I've used all the other effects, I try to explore with this. You can change the amount also. And so this is how I, I think I have used these. The ones which I haven't disabled are the effects which are used in this image to render this particular image. And another advantage of Lumion is that you get images rendered very quickly. And uh, so that's it. So I'm just going to say render photos. So we're just going to render this and there are four various options which you can use. So I think I've used the desktop version or the print version. I'm not sure. So I've already rendered this and kept three options to show you. Here you can see this is one image. Uh, this is the second one. This is the third one. So for the effect which I have shown you previously, uh we will have to use all these three images so i'm going to show you how i have done this in photoshop so this is completely by trial and error i haven't seen any uh, videos and followed this but this is something which worked out for my image so i'm just going to tell you it might work out for your image as well so i want you guys to explore the software and only then it starts working out for us so here you can see i have dragged and dropped uh, the three images. This is just a background fill. You can just lock it. 
uh, let's just plain white background. This is one image and the opacity is 100. So this image is in the 100 opacity. This is a black and white image. So this is the second rendered image. This is of a different quality and color. So this is also an opacity 100 and here. And you have this one, which is another image, which I've overlaid on top of it. And this has an opacity of 60. So if suppose I switch off any one layer, you can see the difference that uh, takes place. So this is the thing. So we are going to use this particular image as our backdrop. And I'm going to show you how to do illustrations using this. So it's very simple, extremely simple. So if you are satisfied with your background, or if you need to make any other adjustments, you can do so by clicking on the adjustments icon and you can change your brightness contrast, your exposure, whatever suits correct for your image, you can be free to explore that. So I think I have just set everything right in my particular image, so I don't want to change anything. And uh, you can also change the color balance if you want, if you want the sort of reddish tinge or brownish tinge you can do so so this also works fine so you can explore uh, using the various uh, options that we have so i'm just going to bring this down um, so yeah so for now i'm going to delete these layers because we don't want these adjustments right now i think my image is fine and i'm happy with the background so I'm just going to keep this realistic image and on top of this, I'm going to show it to you how we created illustrations. So first of all, what you do is you go to Pinterest, you can download these flat vector people illustrations. So you can get these people from Pinterest, you can download them and you have to remove the background. Uh, so you can remove the backdrop and you can have the people alone. So these will be like PNGs or if you can download PNGs, well and good so that it doesn't come with the background. So I'm going to show you. So here I have added something called pattern fill. So I'm just going to close all the people layers and I'm going to show you the pattern fill option. So this pattern fill is nothing but it's just a pattern which I have fed into my uh, Photoshop and you can do so. Uh, by simply downloading any pattern from Google. If you want me to send you a link, I can do so. You can add your comments and I will put a link for you. So I have downloaded a pattern and have installed it. So how you do this is you go to file and uh, sorry, you go to edit, define pattern. So if you want, you can download any pattern or any background. So I've just downloaded a sort of, uh, it can be anything, anything which suits your particular image. It could be something like this also. So you just have to save the image, drag it and drop it in Photoshop, open it as a new file, go to edit, uh, define pattern and whatever you can say, blue pastel color or something like that. And you give okay. And if you want, you can, Rotate it, good image rotation. Yeah, you can do that also. So here you see this one has a watermark. So you can follow my previous video in order to remove a watermark from an image. So now if you see, you go to the adjustments icon, pattern. And this pattern, you can scale it. It, it can be made big if you want. However, you're comfortable with and you click okay you can change the opacity so this is like an overlay on the image which gives you a sort of a texture which gives a texture to the uh, render and it doesn't make it look too realistic and it gives you that illustration effect so that is the reason why we use this particular pattern fill so i'm not going to use this blue one i've already have one so this is the one that i'm using so which i've already installed so then it's just a matter of adding the humans into your image so here you can see this is one particular so i've cut out all these uh images from pinterest and you'll save them as pngs and you can just quickly like you can see you get 
uh, pictures like these also where the people are there in groups so this is basically a social interaction space and so you can see people discussing and there are a lot of displays kept here so i'm just gonna add all the people one by one which completes this particular image so the idea is not to make it too crowded allow the image to breathe let the background be seen uh, put sufficient people so that it looks like an active space so these are certain key points which you can use but this varies from image to image so you will be designing something else so based on that you have to add the people according to your type typology and design so as simple as it looks this is a very simple video you just have to explore all the tools and options and i'll show it to you how you can make some changes if you want this can be obtained in the black and white effect you can use the black and white effect if you want so so there is a option for that also so it's a completely a, your choice how you want the image to come out so this is a very easy method uh, and this is how i do some of my renders so if you have any queries or doubts regarding this please do let me know you can drop down your messages in the comment section and uh, please like our page and subscribe to our page and uh, keep tuning in i'm going to send many more videos for you and uh, you will surely be benefited from this so thanks guys bye